I'm Danielle. I'm Caitlin. And together we're our time of the month. And we are doing a little, I think probably a quite speedy get ready with me. Ooh. Actually, do you want to sort of like put a timer on it and just try and get done real quick? Like how long? 15? I'll try for 15. Okay. It might be closer to 20. So we'll wait. Because normally these are like an hour long video. Yeah. Well, no, I'm trying to like get rolling on the next. Good, good, good. Okay. So... Um, we just filmed a wacky makeup video and had to refresh our faces and then we have to do it again and then we're going to keep filming so we're trying to be quite quick. Um, this is just a standard get ready with me. Okay, I'm priming with RMS Revolve. Okay, we Primer both and primer. We both have skincare on. Yeah. But no makeup as of yet. Let me prime and then I'll hit the timer. If we don't tell you what the products are because we are going so fast and it's probably not gonna happen, everything will be linked in the description box as always. Yes. We link everything that is able to be linked. Trust and believe. Yes. Whoopsie, whoopsie, too much. Start, 15 minutes. But like if I have half my mascara done, I have to finish it. No, 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 you get to finish it. <laughs> okay. But I think, I think it'll just keep us like, well every five minute increment, we know that we have to like move on to another section of our face pretty much, right? Yeah. I just want to get my base good, I guess. It's harder when you have more to cover. Okay, so I am using, I am using the regular old Beauty Pie, uh, like super luminous, super luminous under eye genius corrector in light medium. I really, really love it to just bounce the light right out from under my under eye. I am practically a lighthouse walking around with just beams. Yes, beams. I'm using L'Oreal Tinted Serum Foundation. It's very, very lightweight and thin, and I really love it. Also, if you're looking at our background and you're thinking, well, that seems new, you would be correct. We moved. Um, this is our Southern Maryland office. Uh, we got an Airbnb for the weekend specifically so that we could take some time for ourselves to relax and unwind but also, mainly, so that we can hit it hard with the content creation and then, you know, maybe take a couple breaks over the summer and you guys won't even notice because we'll still have fresh content coming at you all the time. Okay. Base. Sure. Yeah. I mean, that's foundation. We're going to call that it. Then I'm moving on to NARS Potted Concealer. Cover up the ickies. Get rid of the ick. Okay, I'm feeling pretty even, but most of the time I feel odd. <laughs> uh, it's the RMS uh, concealer in the shade 11. Love it, love it, love it. I have, like Danielle, when she got it, she has, I didn't, I have not used any other concealer since. I do think though, it is kind of an explicitly under eye concealer because oh, yeah. of the formula. It's very, very thin. Um, so it wouldn't be good for spot correction, but I did actually just use it in our last video and I like redness around your nose is fine. Yeah. I sort of just like dragged it down my cheeks because we weren't, I didn't want to waste a lot of time with foundation. So I just sort of patted it further out and then a little on my forehead and it actually was a really nice, just slight blur for if I, I don't know, I was running the grocery store and like was having not a great skin day and wanted to feel a little bit better. For under eye, I am going to use, it's really helpful when you have your makeup in eight places, L'Oreal H Perfect Concealer. Just a little dotting action under there. You know what we didn't do that was um, silly? What's that? We didn't like put all of our bags together and take a photo of how much shit we had to pack for this weekend. We can take a photo of the car when we load it tomorrow. Yeah, but we'll have less stuff than we came. <laughs> Um, I am using the Fenty Normal, it's my shade stick in amber for my contour. Go ahead and do my chin strap, you know the deal. And then we're going to blend it out with my favorite Beauty Pie double ended. I think it's called like a cheek, ah! cheek blush, mm. cheek duo brush. Okay. I set my under eyes with Cover FX Translucent Setting Powder. I'll whisk that away in a moment. And setting areas of concealer with a little bit of number seven setting powder. Okay. 
Okay, contoured. Blush, I will say, because we are in a time crunch, I'm not gonna go my darker blush that I prefer because I don't want to spend ages blending. So I'm gonna do the e.l.f. It's this little potted cream. And I'm just gonna blush. Bronze and blur, bronze and blur. So my first bronzer, my cream bronzer is Westman Atelier in Biscuit. So fast, it practically does the work for you. Oops, I forgot to blend my nose contour. And then over top of that, I will go in with powder bronzer. I'm using CoverGirl True Blend So Flushed. And I will go on top and I will also use, I will still use the Fenty and this is in the shade Shady. makeup like to leave the house or something I'm usually going this fast like I just want to be done you know yeah okay eyebrows I'm gonna brush I'm gonna do my neck oh. my self tan is like okay. I forgot to wipe away my under eye baking and I don't love to bake so oops for blush, I am going to use my L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Blush in the shade Rosewood. Rosewood. Going a little high on my cheekbone because I think that looks nice. Okay. Penciled in with my eyebrows. You know the drill, it is the Brow Lux. And then I'm gonna throw in a little bit of the Glossier, not the Glossier, my mistake, Milk Makeup. It's an eyebrow pen. And then if I can find it, I'm gonna use my eyebrow gel. If not, I will do that off camera, which is cheating, but I'm not gonna waste my time looking for it. Okay, brows also using Brow Lux, filling them in slightly. For cheeks, I'm doing this tart. Uh, blush, it, Amazon Ink Clay Blush in the shade Risqué. This mirror is too close! The Merit Highlighter in Kava. Five minutes? Six minutes. Oh, six minutes. I'll, I'll be, be late because for me mascara takes for so long for some reason. But everything else will be done. Highlighter is done. And then, actually, I'm going to go back. I did find it. It is my NYX The Brow Glue. And I'm just going to run that. This is really gloppy, so I scrape a little off. And then I'm setting my brows with a wax from Maybelline. And I also find that this step is helpful in distributing the products that I use with color. So whether I use the milk pen, which has more of like a liquid ink, or a pencil. Oh my god, I have so much glitter in my eyebrows. <laughs> Eye makeup. I actually think I'm just going to keep it super simple. Is that true? I am. I'm just going in with bronzer. That's exactly what I was gonna do. I'm gonna go back with that Fenty bronzer that we used earlier. And I'm just gonna, do, yeah, I'm just gonna do a very light wash because we are filming a couple videos today, so I don't know exactly what I'll be wearing. You don't wanna do Kaiman Cosmetics? I don't wanna do Kaiman Cosmetics, uh, cause that is a look. And then- I think I have like a little shimmer. I situation. Am, I am on to mascara and I have two minutes and 43 seconds to do that. And so I'm gonna say that I've pretty much, other than primer and then this, I've successfully done this. Yeah. So I'm not even gonna like rush I'm trying to get either. it done into, I'm not gonna rush when I have a wand near my eyeball. Um, so my first coat, I am using the L'Oreal Voluminous. And I believe this one is a black brown. 
And I can't say that I like using this by, did it shatter? No. Oh, wow. It landed face down. Wow. I heard it, it hit hard. Um, so I don't love this sh mascara by itself. I just don't think that it does everything that I need it to do. So, but I do use it as a primer because I like the length and separation it gets, even though it's supposed to be called voluminous. Oh, that was the other thing. And I also really like it because for some reason, the two other high-end mascaras that I happen to ha are be using right now that I put over top of this, both of them are an absolute son of a bitch to remove. And by putting a layer of this underneath, it comes off so much easier. And then I'm gonna use the Lancome Lashy Doll or Edol Lash. I'm gonna use Set My Face with Peach and Lily Glass Skin Veil Mist. And then I just have to do mascara. I will prime my lashes with the L'Oreal Voluminous Primer and then I'll be using the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara as my mascara. Okay, oops. So yeah, so I think we probably, we like went over like by one minute, but I'm not worried about it. Okay, gloss skin. I do say I even love the feeling. I do say, I do say, isn't that a? I will say. I will say, I will say. No, what's the one that the rooster says? Yeah, I will say, I will say. Oh my God, it is. Did we I fucking so. manage to name our, po our podcast after? That hillbilly rooster? Yes. What, Foghorn Leghorn. Foghorn Leghorn. Holy shit. Are we a Foghorn Leghorn stan account? I think that people are attracted to him. What? what? Yeah, like, you know there are people who are into cartoon characters. Like, as far as cartoon characters go, he's like a big strapping fucking rooster. Cock. I'm adding a little bit of Glossier Cloud Paint in the shade Beam. We just tested out these new About Face lip liners from Halsey. I am going actually, I think, to do this Fire Engine Red. Okay. Because I have a Fire Engine Red lipstick so do I. in my purse. I'm gonna go grab it. So this is in the shade Forever Flame. It, these take, we swatched them in the last video and then we each tried a color. These go on, your, your hand can just, drift above your lip and the color jumps across and attaches to it pretty much it's just like you wish that the color was there and then all of a sudden it is so they're super super pigmented i think when it comes to a red lip liner i prefer something that has a bit more stiffness just because god damn when a red travels that's the worst for a second i thought you were pausing because it was like a good joke I'm gonna go with the uh, Charlotte Tilbury Red Carpet Red. I'm gonna get myself fake freckles. Oh yeah, I did wanna do that. I just wanna see how it works if I... Yeah, I'm gonna tap it in. I'm gonna use faux freckles. We'll link it below. Um, and as I'm doing it, I'm going to use my sponge and sort of soften them. I mean, that lip liner with that lipstick is pretty spot on. It's a good one, right? It's Cruella. Yeah, I really, really like the darker one mm -hmm. for going over existing freckles. It's the perfect color to just oomph it, but if you're looking for that like sun-kissed, childlike freckle across the bridge of the nose. I think that light color is perfect. Let me see it. That is cute. I really like it. <laughs> that is cute. It is. I feel like a little like a, like a doll. And I tried to do them like up in my, up on my forehead because I do have them there. I have H spots, so. Oh, a lip for me. Mm-hmm. Okay, there's that. And then I'm going in with L'Oreal Paradise, Glow Paradise Nude Heaven. Would you rather be a bird or a fish? A bird. 
Oh. Cute. Real cute. Look at us. That was pretty fast. Look at us. I mean, it wasn't 15 minutes, but it wasn't 30. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. As I said, we will have everything linked below. We're cranking out tons of content this weekend, so be on the lookout. You can ring the bell, the bell for notifications so you never miss out on those new uploads. You can comment like in snakes. You can. You can watch our last video. You can watch our next video. You can watch all of the videos. Find us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, TikTok, Goodreads, Goodreads Twitter, podcasts. Streaming Sweet. services. Uh, we actually filmed a real sassy foot video yesterday, so Foot Finder might be happening. I already told you, I already made an account. I know. Once, 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 once. I know, but it might actually, we might actually start uploading. Uh, we love you guys so much. What's a weird question? Would you rather be a bird or a fish? Duh. And, and do uh, seabed floor based sea. creatures, sea, yes? Yes, yep. Yeah. Based creatures view fish as uh, like birds. Yes. I'd love to know. If you've asked a hermit crab anytime soon, you just let me know. Or flounder. Or flounder. Or octopus. Mm hmm Ooh, but do they view like manta rays? They can swim but also live on the bottom? Is yeah. that some sort of like hybrid? That is. Mm. That'd be like a flying fish. What if there was an entire like sea battle going on? There very well could be. I like, have no idea. Right, like sea, some sea creatures are attempting to like usurp other sea Overtake. creatures. Wow. Imagine. I'm trying not to. And we had no idea. <sighs> what about Atlantis? Have Suddenly we recently... this video will be 49 minutes. Okay, last question. Oh. Last question. When you were a child, how big of a deal did you think the Bermuda Triangle was? Gigantic. And also like... But there was a movie I used to watch on TBS all the time and, about it. And also like if you went into it, you die. Duh. Like Duh. it wasn't like a maybe, it was like the, it, the Bermuda Triangle. It sucks you up because I would be like, why are people even floating their boats anywhere near that? Exactly. I'm like, if you it's know where magnetic, it is. It's a magnetic field. I used to think it was one of those holes in the ocean that went <laughs> like pretty much. That's kind of what I assumed. Yeah. Because I was like, why do all these people die when they go there? Idiots. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks so much for joining us. And until next time, we're going to cut, cut it. it.